Good evening and welcome to our first crafting session of January 2024. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've joined us live, do say hi. It's always nice to know who's watching with us. If you're watching on replay, whether that is on Facebook or on YouTube, then if you have any queries or comments, feel free to pop those in the um, relative comment sections. And I do monitor those. And if you have any queries, I do try and get back to you occasionally. They'll slip through the net, for which I apologise. And if that is the case and you haven't received an answer, feel free to comment again or to email me. So good evening and a happy new year to you. My name is Jenny McCormack. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire and that's here in the UK. And I have a new stamp to share with you. This stamp set, as you can see, is called Let's Chat. I'm just going to turn one of my lights off. Hopefully that should reduce some of the shadow. This stamp set is from our brand new January to April mini catalogue. So this is in addition to our thick annual catalogue. And this is what it looks like on the front. It's got ice creams, hardly ice cream weather here at the minute. It's also got a picture of a cake on there and some balloons. But the weather here is awful. It's cold. Well, it's not too cold, but it's coldish. It's very, very wet. They've had so much rain over the last, um, I want to say two weeks nearly. Um, so everywhere is, um, everywhere is suffering. So, um, I thought I would bring to you something new from the mini catalogue. So, from here on in, you will see lots of samples and videos and live um, demonstrations using products from this catalogue. I will also do a walkthrough, um, whether I'll do that the weekend or maybe Monday evening next week, I'm not sure. Um, but there's lots of fabulous new products to share with you. Great um, ideas for men's cards, something different in terms of some of the dies and the coordinating stamps and masks or stencils. And our first class in the box will actually feature this product suite, the Perennial Lavender. Um, which has some really, really pretty paper and um, some die cut, um, laser cut butterflies. Um, so there's a whole load of examples in there. But today we're going to use the Let's Chat. I thought this would be great for coffee and card and it is in fact our stamp set of the week for this week and early next week and it's what we'll be using at Coffee and Card tomorrow in Brackley and also on Monday in Toaster. So it's going to be good to get back to a level of normality. Hi Catherine, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're keeping well and keeping dry. Um, so I thought this was good and um, I thought it would be good fun to make it into a, a Happy New Year card. I guess I've got probably a week in which I can send out New Year cards. Um, it's got an old fashioned telephone with the dial. Um, it's got the receiver handset there. It's got a curly wire or a curly wire that has the word hey in it. And then we've got the word ring, hello, here for you, and little hi. Got a little um, heart, a speech bubble here that you can use with those sentiments, and then the little um, supposed to look like the sound. So let me show you a sample I did at Coffee and Carter. This is a very um, simple, straightforward card. I used our basic white um, thin 
card for the layer and I stamped the telephone, the receiver and the curly wire on there and then I stamped hello from the Biggest Wish stamp set which is this one here and that's got some great big and small sentiments so you can combine those you can have small happy and large birthday or a large happy and a small birthday etc and this has a matching stamp set which came in the Christmas catalogue but which has been carried over and this has got um, New Year as well as Christmas so what I'm hoping to do is do a Happy New Year um, sentiment on um, either the outside or the inside I'm not quite sure yet Hi Trudy, thanks for joining us so let's give this a go so this is a very um, simple card so I'm going to step this up I've got an idea in mind which I hope is going to work you know me so you will really need a good um, surface to stamp this on this is a very solid photopolymer stamp and it will literally pick up any bits of dust or fluff or cat hairs in my case um, onto the stamp so you want to make sure it's really nice and clean so let me find a layer let's see I think I'm going to go red not quite sure which way round that's going to go so I've got a real red layer that's going to go underneath I've cut this with a slightly wider margin than normal and this is going to go onto a white face card. I'm not quite sure which way it's going to open yet. So those are going to be my layers. And then I've got my telephone. And what I'm thinking of doing is putting the phone on there. And then the receiver sort of up in the air as if it's ringing. And then put a sentiment on the inside. So let's give this a go. So I'm going to take these layers out of the way, but I am using a mat. Now one of the things you can get for free if you join our team in January or February of this year is a glass mat studio. So that consists of a large glass mat which has got markings on it. And then it also has a, um, a silicon mat and a chamois that goes with it for cleaning so I'll be showing that off um, fairly shortly but um, the information that I've been given from other demonstrators is if you've got the glass mat you don't need to use one of these because it's so flat um, it doesn't pick up anything unless you've obviously got crumbs on there or something so which way am I going to do this let's have a look Why do you stamp on a mat which isn't solid? <laughs> Judy knows what she means, but I'm not quite sure. So this is a foam, a foam mat, and it's because there's no rubber on here, so there's no give. So this just allows a little bit of pressure. So I'm just going to see which way this is going to have to go. I think it's probably going to go like that we'll see and I thought I'd do a nice red old star phone so let's give this a go and I need to see now my ink pads get well used sorry that's a little bit off the screen let's move it up a little bit okay let's have a look and see take my glasses off I'm going to put this fairly low down because I want my receiver to be up in the air and then I want to have um, some words in there somewhere. Okay, so there's my um, phone and then I've got this idea of punching out the circle and having it raised now I don't know whether I'm going to do that in red 
I would it would work on a solid tabletop um, as long as it's um, you know really flat okay so and the other thing to do if you have got a solid stamp is just leave it on your card a little bit longer than you might normally okay so I'm thinking this this is one and a quarter inches so I'm thinking I might be able to punch this out and obviously if you've got circle dies that would also work and have that lifted out as if it's a proper dial now I've also got some grey so I'm just going to see what it looks like if I stamp it in grey. And it also depends, talking about using a mat, depends on how much ink you've got in your ink pad um, and how clean your stamps are. So there's, many, there's quite a few factors involved. Yeah, tables of coffee and card are not particularly flat. Um, the ones at the lounge are not designed for crafting because they're panels of wood so they literally go like that so um, that's one we definitely need mats even for um, standard stamping with rubber stamps not even photopolymer okay this is basic grey So I'm just going to punch that out and see. Oh, okay. Catherine has never tried a mat. So the answer is, if you've not had any problems, <laughs> then you may not need one. Um, but if you do have problems, and it often happens with just particular stamp sets or um, photopolymer stamp sets that have a large surface area like this one here. So, I don't know whether this is going to work. So this is um, basic grey. And this is the red. So I'll have your verdict on what you think would be what looks best. Just thought it would be a little bit of fun to raise that up. And in the old days, you used to have your number printed in the center i can remember my home phone number from when i was at um, lived in watford so i left there at when i was 18 so a good few years ago and our number there was watford 20807 it's funny what things you remember isn't it and then when i went to warning lid that was um warning lid 596 that was before we had the long, the longer codes in front. Oh yes, that dodgy cream colour. Yes, you're quite right. <laughs> Trudy thinks red. Oh, kitchen worktop is perfect because those are nearly always uh, nice and flat. So Trudy thinks red for that. I guess I could punch the middle of this one out. Let's see. I don't know whether this I don't know whether this will work. Let's have a look. This is three quarters of an inch. Might be too big. I think half an inch will be too small. Oh, you've got a little dial look so I'm wondering whether that looks good in the middle or not or whether to keep it all all red hmm, quite like that with the different color okay let's come back to that in a minute um, let's do the curly wire and the handset so 
Now I want to make sure that the curve, the wire is going to reach the handset. But I was thinking what I want to do is have it at an angle here and then the speaker, like somebody's talking through it, and then I think I can then angle my wire accordingly. And you could have multicoloured um, telephones. Scott on Tuesday was doing a very clever multicoloured phone, half and half. Okay, so I think that's up. And let's have this quite have this quite high. So I want to, to fill that gap. So just leaving it as I say a bit longer than you might do. There we go. And then let's try the wire. And what you want to do is obviously get this to the attach as if it's going to the back of here um, let's have a look see I actually got it going off the paper but I'm not too worried about that now if you wanted this much longer what you could do is have one going off that way and then one joining back in so it doesn't have to be complete if that makes any sense okay uh, right let's do um, let's find uh, let's put this one on here uh, a smallish block this is to make it look like the sound. This is the this is the one that makes the noise, isn't it? <laughs> I have to hold it up to my head to work out which piece that needed to come out of. <laughs> oh dear. You can tell we're, we've only been back a week, can't you? Right. So here's the little sound piece and then I could add um, ring ring up here so we've got the word ring or you've got hello obviously I think what I'm going to do is do the ring in grey this is a little bit of a contrast so it's not all red so that says ring oh, there's a smaller block there um, <laughs> deliberating about where this is going to go want to try this out on here I might switch this to pebbled path because I think it's a bit darker so while I've been rabbiting on I hope everybody is well sorry I didn't ask you that earlier Oops. oh that's better I hope you had a good Christmas together Yes, I see what you mean. Yeah, the middle of the dial was the was the sort of same height as the dial, but I see what you mean. You could do like that, and then the red one raised up, or that on its own. But normally, yes, that would be the same, the same bit. But this would be raised from the base, so it's got space to go around. Right, let's try our ring ring. See how we get on with that. 
and right. That's right on here. Just deliberating where this is going to go. Ring. 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 Okay. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for joining us. I hope that you are keeping well with all these horrible bugs and things that are going around. So we're playing with a new stamp set um, called Let's Chat, which you'll have seen in the new catalogue. This one here with this fun old-fashioned phone on it. Might use the um, speech bubble on the inside, maybe. See what room I've got. So I've got ring, ring, ring. And let's see. So I punched this one out. So I can lift this up. Let's do that with dimensionals. But you could also use this piece, couldn't you? Lift it up like that. But I'm just going to use that. Hunt my dimensionals, which are just here. Oh good, I'm glad you're okay, Brenda. Three, four. Can't believe it's Friday tomorrow. I mean, I know I had Monday off, effectively. Okay, there we go. And the last one. So I'm going to adhere this on top, try to get it as central as I can, there it is, and the question is do I put that on the top as well, or do I lift that up on dimensionals? I think I'm just going to put that on there. I quite like it with the contrasting colour. If I lift it up to the screen, I quite like that with the contrasting colour. Rather than all, all red. Like so. So I think I'm going to put that flat. I did think... Um... Yes, there was some, I'm trying to think where you, whether you could have an acetate layer behind it, but I don't think that would work. Okay, this is fairly central. Just going to position it on there. I suppose you could write somebody's name on there, or age or something. Okay, right, let's have a look at the rest of the card then. So I think I'm going to use one that opens to the side. Yeah, it does break up the red, doesn't it? And I buried my red piece here. So it's sort of going to go like that. And then I'm thinking, um, whether to put the speech bubble in inside. Um, I want, really wanted to do Happy New Year, but it, um, it's not going to fit. But I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my speech bubble with hello and then happy new year as if it's the the person responding. So what I'm going to do is stamp that 
in basic grey because I know this is quite light. Let's find our little. Oh, I haven't got much space on that. Um, let's use this piece here. is opening like that and then I'm going to do the speech bubble there just off like that and then the bigger hello from the stamp set or I should say the smaller hello from the stamp set is this one. And then I'm going to use Pebbled Path for that. So I've got hello. do with a question mark <laughs> okay so I've got hello could do it the other way around I need to say is it me you're looking for maybe I'm just going to do happy new year on there let's not think it too much So let's see, I've got a large happy and then the smaller new year to you. But I'm just going to do new year I think. Let's have a look. And I do like to stamp these separately rather than try and line them up. So, happy new year. Like that. There we go. What do we think? Think that works? Hi Nicole! Happy New Year to you. I don't know how to say that in Dutch. I'm really sorry. Perhaps you could. Oh jolly good. Hi Carol! So Carol's over in um, America. Are you in Florida at the minute or are you out and about Carol? Happy New Year to you and Happy New Year to Nicole as well. Um, so am I going to do a Happy New Year? Or anything else? <laughs> um, I've got birthday, I've got friend. Just see if there's anything more suitable here for you. Oh, I could do hi. Hello. Hi. Oh my goodness. Good looking. Good looking. New year. No, new year. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Carol says it's Florida and it's chilly and cloudy. It's absolutely pouring here. <laughs> I'd stick with chilly and cloudy. Um, or shall I do hello? Hi. decisions so that's our that's our front ring 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 and then I've punched this piece out 
with a circle punch, one and a quarter. So what do we think? Hello? Hi? I think what I'm going to do is swap the happy out for the other one so that they're all in another case. friend that says happy oh and Nicole's a year older is that because it's your birthday Nicole <laughs> or because it's a new year I'm going to do hello hi like that okay so basic grey in my case here is lighter but I'll see if you've got new ink pads you may find. Oh, you could have fun with these in different colours, couldn't you? You know, for new baby and stuff like that. Right, this is going to say hi. Tiny little stamp there. You watch me lose that. Right, Pebbled Path. We're good. Oh, bless you. Well, happy birthday for the 30th of December, Nicole. Mine was a little bit before yours. Right, I've got hi. There we go. And then I'm going to do... Happy New Year. It's a bit of a clean, this one. And I'm going to use Pebbled Path for the text. Oh, Catherine says you could turn the speech bubble into a bird. Yes, you could. Well, you could. <laughs> I'm not very good at that sort of thing. But yes, you could put little eggs on. I'll have to try that in a minute. Here we go. This is my scrap, isn't it? Find a pen. Not the best one, but and then what do we do now? <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Uh, sort of sort of you all know I'm no good at um, drawing <laughs> that was my rough attempt I think it's got two long legs actually it's more like a should be a stalk no doubt somebody will do a much better job and then I can copy them right let's do a happy new year this is pebbled path Daisy, new. And then year. There we go. Oops, I think I moved a bit and I got away with it. There we are. A little bit further down than it needs to be. If I was thinking that about that again, I would have that a little bit higher. Maybe that one a little bit higher, but it does the job. And in this one here, it's got a small exclamation mark. So I'm going to use that one. And make sure I stamp it the right way round or it'll look like an eye. 
letter I. So there we go. I think I'd have some good fun with this. You could have a line of telephones on a slimline card. That would be really good fun. Um, especially if you've got somebody who works in a call centre. That would make a great birthday card. You could have them all ringing off the, fo off the hook, couldn't you? Right, there's our little bird. Yeah, there's our exclamation mark. There we go. Okay, let's put the pieces together. Cover up my ink pad so they don't go everywhere. So that's my inside. Happy New Year. And then we're going to pop this one on here. Looking for the glue that I've just put down. So I've just got a real red layer that measures 10 centimeters by 14.35. And then I've got slightly, slightly smaller piece here, which measures nine and a half by thirteen point eight five. So it's just a little bit more of a border around there than I would normally do. So scribble in the middle of there. be a fun card to send to somebody who's you know maybe a bit under the weather or needs a bit of cheering up so we've got the telephone stamped here in real red we stamped another one and punched out the um, center and then punched the center of that with a three-quarter inch punch to take this piece out and so I've changed the cut co the colors over and then we've connected that to the um, receiver. Well, ring, ring, ring. And it says, hello, hi, happy new year. That needs a question mark, doesn't it, really? Hello. <laughs> but there we go. I hope you like it. It's a little bit of fun anyway, isn't it? This was the one I did for um, basic one for coffee and card. Um, and I did another one for coffee and card, but that got... Um, Damage. Somebody dropped an ink pad on it, so if I can find it. It's this one here. So this one has got. It's the other way round, and I've done all of that in Pretty Peacock. And now that one says Happy New Year inside as well. But that one will be consigned to the bin. I tried to take some of the marks off. We've got a coffee stain here and an ink stain up there. Never mind. So there we go. So I hope you like it. You could add a little bit of bling to this. Um, and in fact, what somebody did, which was very clever, was they'd added some bling onto each of those um, little dots, you know, that would be naught. No. Yes, it must be naught. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, mustn't it? Because nine, nine, nine was always the the longest one to wait so there we go i hope you like it so it's called let's chat it's available in our new catalogue and it is 18 pounds and you can find it on page 45 if you've got a catalogue already and um, if you haven't and you're in the uk and would like a printed catalogue just comment or let me know and i can get one sent out I had a batch go out last week with a class in a box, another batch yesterday, another batch today. So, um, but the post here is a little bit variable. Usually the further it's going, the quicker it gets there, seemingly. Um, so it hasn't arrived 
don't hesitate to ask me and I can confirm if it is on its way and I can track it for you. So there we go, that's our um, start of our new catalogue. So I do have a paper share that I'm running with the new catalogue. There's some fabulous new papers and they're all together on page 76. So we've got some music, we've got um, tiny little flowers, we've got lavender, we've got bees, um, children, um, lighter than air with hot air balloons. Only one of the sets is actually six inches by six inches. The rest are all 12 by 12 and two of those are foiled papers. So I'm just currently designing our January class in a box that will be using the perennial lavender as I said um, and I'm also going to be running a separate class in addition to the class in a box with our new um, masks and coordinating stamp set and dies so watch out for details of that thank you so much everyone I've taken up enough of your time on a Thursday evening I do hope you like the cards let me just bring those up to the screen a little bit better there's that one there and then a slightly more plain one that is on there so thank you for joining me I will be showing you the papers for the paper share I will give you information about when that will take place thank you for the hearts much appreciated um, I'm off to get some dinner now and um, do some admin and I look forward to catching up with you all really soon Thank you so much everyone, do take care and bye for now.